What's going on fellow astrophotographers? Thank you so much for joining in for another episode here of Astrophotography from my extremely light polluted home here in Utah. We've got the California Nebula on deck tonight for imaging. I'm hoping to exceed six hours on this target. I've never photographed this before. It's been on my list for quite a long time. But in terms of astrophotography terms, six hours is certainly not a lot of time, but we are going to be cloudy again for another week after tonight, so we have to take what we can get. I did a couple hours of this target just the other night, and we're going to build on that tonight with an additional several hours to hopefully combine in excess of six total hours on this target. If you've heard of the California Nebula, you absolutely know why, because it is basically the shape of the state of California here in the United States. This is a super bright emission nebula clocking in at fifth magnitude up in Perseus. Now, while it's easy to capture on the photos and in your telescope using a camera and some filters, it's not an easy target visually because the California Nebula is so big, spreading almost two degrees in field of view. And with that, it has such a low surface brightness, and being a red hydrogen-rich nebula, it has a very low surface brightness to it, which makes it very difficult for visual astronomers. If you want to photograph this target, I suggest something really wide field for you, something like my 135 millimeter Rokinon lens, or anything up to about 350 millimeters or so should do you some justice. I am going to be using my Rokinon 135mm lens at f2 for this project. It's going to sit on top of the AM5 mount, but we're not going to be doing any auto guiding this time around. Because the focal length is so short and the field of view is so wide field, we don't need to auto guide on something like this. We should still be able to capture three minute subs with no problem using this setup. We're going to be using the ZWO 183MC Pro chip for this. We're going to have the IDAP. NBZ booster filter in there for this as well so we can suppress that light pollution and enhance all of those hydrogen gases that we need in the California. 